All right, this is probably the single most important thing that you can add to any vehicle, and that is a scan gauge uh, to keep an eye on what your car is doing. And um, we're gonna mount it right up here on the steering column, right here. Um, and I've got some acetone to uh, clean off the two surfaces, the, the bottom of the scan gauge and the steering column before we apply the uh, 3M VHB. This stuff is great, but you do need to clean the surfaces. Uh, be careful with acetone, it can dissolve ABS, which is what most car plastic is made out of, so only apply it in the exact spot where you want to apply the double-sided tape. Um, once it's in and plugged in and we start the car, I'll show you what codes it can read by default, and I'll show you how to add some extra codes to read stuff like engine oil temperature and transmission temperature. All right, here's the scan gauge. I've got my double-sided tape on there. Um, there's no point using a really big piece because uh, the surface that we're gonna attach it to is kind of curved, and so it really only touches in the middle. Anyway, it's got two uh, ethernet ports, which is how it connects to the OBD2 port. You can connect it uh, into either one, and you can also daisy chain these together if you wanna display like, you know, more than four things at a time. Anyway, uh, the acetone did eat this plastic a little bit, um, but it did not eat this plastic, which is nice. That's where we're gonna stick it. All right, here's the scan gauge mounted. Looks pretty nice, nice and even and centered. Um, now what we need to do is get the wire going to the right place. And to the left here, you can see this piece of fabric. Kind of makes it look nice. Anyway, you can move that to the side and that's where we're gonna pass the cable through. Um, it's actually easier to push the ethernet end up from the bottom and then down here uh, is where the uh, OBD2 port is, and that's where we're gonna plug it in. We'll coil the wire, wire up, the extra, and just zip tie it to some stuff that's up under there. All right, the cable runs uh, through that little spot I told you about, and connects to the OBD2 port, which is right there. And you can see I've got the excess in a little loop and zip tied. Now let's see what it can display. All right, this is what the scan gauge looks like when you power it on for the first time. Um, scan in the top left is how you read check engine codes. Uh, trip will tell you about your current trip, um, distance, speed, fuel consumption, all kind of cool stuff like that. More is how you get to settings. Um, the little one with the red circle is your home button. It takes you back to this screen, um, but we're gonna look at what gauges come on it. Um, here you can see RPM, miles per hour, miles per gallon, and engine coolant temperature. Um, this one here, miles per hour, is pretty cool because in here you can tell it if your tires are a little bigger or smaller than stock and it'll give you a corrected speed, which is kind of nice because we can't really change the calibration of the normal speedometer. Um, anyway, I'll scroll through them so you can see some of the ones. Uh, hitting a dot on a corner changes that particular one. These are the things that the scan gauge can read by default. The two that I really want to add are engine oil temperature and transmission oil temperature. So. I'm going to pull those down from uh, Scan Gauge's website and show you how to type in the codes. It's kind of like an old school video game cheat code, and uh, we'll add those. All right, here are all the codes that you can type in for a 2014 Plus Subaru Forester that has a CVT. Um, you'll notice that the transmission oil temperature is the first one, but missing from this list is engine oil temperature, and I learned this from OC Turbo Joe. You can actually steal that code from the Subaru Ascent. Um, an interesting thing here is that um, the transmission fluid temperature codes are the exact same. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, cross compatibility between Subarus. But what you want to do is, let's type that number in, that one, that one, that one. Name, you can name it whatever you want, but the rest of these you should type in as they see. So on the gauge itself, we hit the home button, and then we hit more, more, Hit this little button to X gauge and then hit edit. Uh, that's the zeroth one. This can go through the numbers, but zeroth is the first one. Anyway, we wanna hit edit and that's where we type in the TXD. And then once that's typed in, we hit okay and then type in the next one and on and on. And then on the home screen, once you've done that, you'll be able to go to gauge and it will appear on the list when you scroll through the available items. All right, this is how I set mine up. Uh, top left, we've got the transmission temperature. I called it CVT. Top right is the default value that is degrees Fahrenheit water temperature, which is the engine coolant temperature. Bottom left, we have engine oil temperature. And bottom right, uh, right now it's displaying uh, lock. They call it lock up duty ratio, but basically it's how locked is your torque converter. 
And when it's locked, um, it's more efficient and you're generating less heat in your transmission, which is a useful thing to look at when you're off-road. Some other ones that are also uh, interesting, worth adding, are actual gear ratio. I haven't tested that one, that one's new for me, but it should display the number of the CVT ratio that it's currently in. And uh, let me see, I guess that's it. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up if this is useful. Uh, later.